Hey y'all. Hey, hey, hey. I can't even say Grand Rising because it's like 6 o'clock. It's like 5.30 or whatever. But how y'all doing? Come on in the building. Let me get a moment. Give y'all a moment to get in the room. I had a lot going on this rising, you guys. A bunch of good things. Like so much so much goodness in my life y'all like it's just it's overwhelming it gets overwhelming sometimes sometimes you know you gotta cry because of all the gifts and abundance and blessings that you've been given and just beautiful people around you who love you for who you truly are it's so amazing and it's rare so if you're able to surround yourself with people who truly love you do that do that all right it's a beautiful thing so so that's what I've been doing. I look a little rough. <laughs> I've been busy all day. Today wasn't necessarily a beauty day. I still am beautiful. I feel absolutely beautiful. But um, I definitely have my hair up and have my t-shirt and my shorts on. So it was one of those days. But I got a lot done. So, okay, so Tierra Sharde is where you need to be to schedule private sessions with me. Manifestation rituals, readings, um, past life reports, retreats, spiritual wellness classes every single Tuesday here in Bridgeport, Connecticut from 7 to 9 p.m. Um, last week, we just wrapped up our uh, Magic of Plants and Herbs workshop. Hey, y'all who just joins in. And uh, this Tuesday, we're starting our tarot study and oracle card making workshop. That's right. You guys get to make your own divination tools and tap into your own intuition that's really what it is you know I really want you guys to do that to get used to doing that and I feel like studying these ancient esoteric knowledge this art form of divination and making your own oracle cards I feel like that would be great for you okay make sure you're subscribing to my youtube channel Tierra Neil Sharday for a chance to win a free reading with me hit the bell so you know when I'm dropping a new video this video will be uploaded to my channel um, I really wanted to talk about today um, prosperity over challenges, over struggle, after struggle as well. Um, you know, for the past couple of weeks, I've really been tapping into people who have been through things. You've been through things. Many of you, for a time, you did let it overtake you. For a time, you were able to fight it. Whatever stage you're at or whatever levels you found yourself at, I feel like many of you are pulling courage you're pulling out courage you're pulling out strength some of you maybe never knew you had the courage or stuff to strength to go after something but i really see an increase here so for some of you this is an increase in business like you're connecting with people who are able to help you build you're building community you're you're um starting like a barter system where you you know you share your gifts and somebody shares their gifts with you and you guys create abundance Sorry about that. As long as well as community and a real strong foundation. So you guys are building that. Pardon me. You guys are building that right now. Um so I'm really tapping into an energy, okay? I feel like some of you maybe you've been out of work. Like money. That's what that's what it is. Money has been a real issue for you like you've been struggling with it I really want to tell you that it's the mind state it's a lack mentality it's the poverty mind state because you actually don't lack anything you actually have all the answers inside of you it's just we we're so caught up in the matrix and what the system tells us is success and abundance that we we don't really recognize the gifts that we have the abundance that we have in, uh, in front of us I was telling a certain somebody um, that it's like you're dwelling in, on all the cups that have spilled over and not the cups that are standing and that are, are full and that are actually behind you. And that refers to the tarot, right? The five of cups where the three cups have been knocked over because you've been through things in life. But there's actually two full and overflowing cups for you and you really have to realize that you have something, that you have more than what you thought. So this is for the people who have had a loss and you feel like you just lost everything in life. But really, you have a lot. You have a lot of gifts. And you're really given two beautiful cups to create more with. You can expand on those two cups. Those two cups could become four. Those four cups could become 20. But you're looking at the three 
that you think you missed out on. For a lot of you, uh, um, a disappointment is actually to your highest good. Like maybe somebody let you down. Maybe they've been deceptive. They've been lying to you. Um, but it's actually for your highest good. It it shows up that they're they're a thief or they're a crook or they don't have your best interest in heart. And anybody who, who views you in that way, they're coming against a real tough time. So just, you know, I'm not, not to say that that should make you happy because it shouldn't. But um, definitely understand that if you were put in a bad place, you're not going to be there for long. And the person who kind of motivated you or inspired you or the people place thing that inspired you to get in this situation, they're not going to benefit Okay, so just know that, you guys, because I'm seeing like you guys have some, you've had some arguments, you've had a lot of discourse, you had a lot of toxicity in your relationships. There definitely was deception, there's definitely cheating energy here, um, and just not being authentically yourself. So, and, and this could relate to romance, this could be job related, this could be with family. Some of you have been deceptive, you had a mask on. Um, for those of you who resonate with this and this is you, make sure you take that mask off because if you don't take it off voluntarily, it's gonna come off. And you may be in a tougher spot than you would have normally been if you had just used honesty. If this is a job situation, I feel like many of you, um, you've had to put up with something. You had to put up with something and you felt like you needed more. Hey, y'all who just joined in, you felt like you needed more or that there was more. And maybe you just put in all that you could and you just couldn't take anymore. For those of you, pro there's prosperity after struggles here. Like, look at this beautiful gray streak, y'all. I used to hope that... I was born with gray hair, okay? But I used to hope that I could just get one gray streak just going back and it looks like it's coming in that's like three or four gray hairs y'all you know like I was a kid with gray hair so this is nothing new I had so much more than this growing up but anyway so I feel like you guys have put up with something um you've persevered maybe See, I'm feeling business and love so strongly here. I feel like many of you, you were trying so hard to hold on. And right now is your season. Right now is your time. So we've been saying this for months. Um, look, you guys, I just was eating a strawberry. I didn't even floss right after. So you probably see a strawberry seed in my teeth. Whatever. So I feel like this is business and love. So what I was saying, like... Um, maybe you had you started a project and it just wasn't taken off or maybe you started a job it just wasn't taken off as quickly as you hoped it would it's coming right now now is your season hey y'all who just joined in now is your season your money is stepping up now so if you're in business for yourself definitely understand how your money is going to increase so get to it like tap in have faith okay many of you probably just got paid or something like that but there's definitely money here. Make sure you're spending your money well. Make sure you're holding on to it, okay, because you're going to need it. Um, for others of you, this is love. You're deciding that you want to part ways with somebody or you're deciding that you actually want to put in work with something. And I feel like if you're willing to put in work on something for some of you, I feel like this is going to be prosperous. It's a good thing. Sometimes, see, I'm feeling like for some of you, effort is really what's required it's not you don't really have to do anything mystical magical it's just show up basically for others of you you're needing to part ways from a situation because either you weren't being authentic or they weren't being authentic okay so take what resonates but after you part ways with that situation one or the other is going to be really 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 freaking abundant or one or both so definitely be mindful i want to encourage you guys though because You've, many of you, you've been putting in that work. You've been trying so hard to keep your head above water, to do what's right, to um, just conduct yourself accordingly with, with integrity, with trustworthy intentions, with all of that. And I feel like you have a divine gift. Not that I feel like. I actually know for a fact that you guys have a divine gift, um, a path being cleared for you, a throne being set for you, power and prosperity being prepared for you so step into your power okay you guys you got like i said you guys have so much abundance 
so much abundance around you. I really need you to understand. Like, I was talking to my business partner just a minute ago, and I'm like, I don't think people understand how much abundance they have available to them but they're just so caught up in the superficial shit they're just so caught up like you're caught up in your heartache that's actually really fucking stupid when you think about it because you actually have a whole new woman over here (laughs) like that's like get over that or you're so caught up at this job that you were fired from but you've been trying to build a business for 10 years and now you actually have the time for it like what are you talking about like I feel like many of you aren't seeing what's in front of you like or what's available to you like somebody is really struggling with their children right now they're really struggling to get through to their child and it's actually like actually you've been struggling to get through your child but you won't shut up long enough to hear for them to get through to you that's it's like so many of you, what you've been asking for and praying for has always been there. You just have to change your mind state, like your mindset. You have to understand that you deserve it. You have to actually believe that. You have to believe it. Um, and, you know, I, I really encourage you guys to tap into your power, tap into your gifts. Okay, I'm telling you, you guys have a lot of abundance on the way. I can see it. So make sure you're staying in alignment. Keep your vibration high so you pull in that abundance. Okay, you guys. So... Thank y'all for joining me. I know I usually start before 12 every day with the divine message, but today was really busy, like from the from the sun coming up to right now. So I'm just now getting a moment to sit still and talk with you guys. Um, so yeah, that's it, you guys. That's the divine message for the collective. Um, today's Thursday? Yeah, today is Thursday. So I'll see you guys Friday. Every single Friday we get into your um, oracle cards. So you know what to expect over the weekend. Okay, so Monday through Friday, Divine Message for the Collective. It's on my YouTube channel, Tiara Neil Chardé. Again, make sure you're subscribing for a chance to win a free reading. I announced that this Monday, this Saturday, is the Voice of the Divine Feminine event. Um, We have a lot of ticket sales, you guys. It's open to men, women, and children, so make sure you're coming out. Child care is available to you, so make sure you're coming out. Uh, And then every single Tuesday, we do the um, spiritual wellness workshops, okay? So make sure you're checking us out. Make sure you're building and vibing with us. Follow us on Instagram. All my info is all over my pages, okay, you guys? So I will see you soon. I have more work to do before the day is out. (laughs) But it's good work. It brings me so much joy and happiness to share what I do with you guys. Because if I didn't share with you guys, it would just be inside of me. Like, it's been inside of me since I was a kid, okay? And all I would be able to do was write stories and books about it. But now I actually get to share it with you and teach it with you and study and learn it with you. It's an honor. It's an honor. So thank you so much for the love and support. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. Peace and love. Take care.